Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and in front of us we have a brand new picking kit, and this is the CTR lock pick set from lawlocktools.co.uk. So CTR stands for Close Target Reconnaissance, something I don't know much about. Um, this is currently on their site for 66 British pounds, and uh, if you live in the UK, that comes with free shipping. And um, I'm gonna get this out of the way first, but if you are international buyers, then you will get this uh, sent to you for a flat rate of five pounds, which I think is an absolute bargain. I'll just sort of lay this out now. Um, the other thing is, if you want to know uh, where to buy this set, then I'm going to leave the link below and also the contact details for Law Lock Tools as well. Okay, so they're gonna be in the description below and uh, in the pinned comment. So what do you get for your £66? Well, you get um, a rather nice case, which with all the picks in, and I've doubled them up, is reasonably slim, certainly um, good enough to stick in a back pocket. And the case is made out of, according to their website, 1000D Cordura with a rubberized ripstop interior. I have to say that it's actually done very well. I can't see anything... I'd don't really like about the case. Um, it seems nice and rugged. It feels like it's going to last you. The Velcro is nice and wide, or the uh, iron loop fastener, I think you're supposed to call it. Um, and uh, yeah, it's nice and wide. It, it feels like, you know, once it's stuck down, it ain't going anywhere. And I think that's really cool. Um, so, other than the case, what do you get? Well, let's empty this out. You get um, eight tools and five tensioners. So, let's move the case out of the way. Um, very nice case it is too, and it's worth mentioning that it's actually got um, a sort of a, a flexible but um, hard backing just to keep the whole thing sort of straight. So it's not um, sort of floppy, it's got a, a certain rigidity to it, two pockets. Yeah, it's very nice. And what's nice, it's got the beading around it, so it's, it's designed for, um, I think, some durability. Anyway, enough about the case. We're not there for the case, are we? So what do we get? Well, we get these lock picks and other tools. So we can sort them out very quickly. Let's move these tensions out of the way. We can sort them out very quickly into um, individual picks. There we go. Some uh, rakes. A half diamond, which I always think is sort of a hybrid in between, the, in t in between picks and rakes. There we go. And some other tools as well. Now... I think the first thing, when you look at this, the thing that you notice most is that this is a, a, a very unique design. Um, let's have a look at one of them up close. And you can see that this is steel, sandwiched between steel. So this is 301 stainless, and this is the 1.4310 variant, which is actually a spring stainless. It's ever so mildly magnetic, but it's actually a spring stainless, and apparently this is the variant of 301 which is most commonly used in parts which need to have um, sort of high endurance and um, and be anti-fatigue. It's, it's used in making things that uh, spring. And um, it's actually quite rigid, but you can feel a small spring on it, and I quite like that. I quite like the idea of using um, a, a stainless spring steel uh, to you know, just increase the longevity of uh, stainless steel picks. Um, because they are the 301 uh, 1.4310 variant, um, they are not quite as hard as some other picks, but then they are also not as brittle. So it's a bit of a um, horses, of course, swings and roundabout situation. They are in 24 thousandths of an inch or 0.6 millimeters in thickness, which I think is pretty good. And you see they've got a very slim or very uh, shallow shank height. So this is actually, I've, I've picked a, a number of euros, probably about 10 euros, various keyways and about 10 padlocks just with this um, shallow hook here. And um, yeah, there's no deformation with this at all that I can see. Um, and I think most importantly, it felt comfortable in the hand, no matter which way I was picking this. So um, I was a bit sort of like curious about this design because it's slightly 
interesting, the sort of dog leg, but it sort of makes sense. If you're picking from the bottom or um, pins up, then uh, this is quite nice to rest on the, uh, I, I guess, the cr crux of the hand here. And it feels kind of comfortable that these cutouts are actually, for me at least, in the right position to, to grip onto. So it feels comfortable. And the actual picks are quite wide as well, not too heavy. Um, the cutouts certainly help, uh, and quite wide. And I find that that width, that extra width, width is actually very, very comfortable. When you're picking pins down, um, it actually, I think, angles the pick down ever so slightly as well with the, the angle on the handle. And I actually find that that's actually, again, uh, comfortable and advantageous when you're uh, you know, picking so it pivots on, on the thumb and forefinger here. So overall, at least in my picking styles, I'm yeah, I'm won over by the handles actually. They they're, they're comfortable. The overall finish of the picks, and we'll look at a few of them, is actually reasonably good. You can still see some sort of uh, markings where these were uh, cut out. I imagine it's either some kind of laser or water jet that has cut these out. Um, but they they're finished pretty nicely. Probably wouldn't hurt to have a little bit more of a sand if you like that sort of thing. Get you get a uh, some 600 grit out and just give them a tiny bit of a, a rub but other than that they, they're perfectly usable I haven't modified them in any way and I've, I've enjoyed picking using them um, so yeah overall uh, you know the, the new design is I find quite comfortable and I quite like it lengthwise well they do come under the magic 15 centimeters why is it magic it's because a lot of uh, pick cases don't like picks which are longer than 15 centimeters. So if you do prefer a different style case, then these come in at somewhere around 14 centimeters ish. So that is, um, I think that's good actually, because if they were any longer, they would still be very comfortable, but they might not fit into some cases. And I think this is actually a really nice length. Interestingly, I was thinking about this is that when people actually make custom picks, they always tend to go for slightly longer handles. Have you noticed that? I think it's because longer handles just feel more comfortable. The, um, so yeah, I'm quite quite impressed by these. So what do you actually get uh, in terms of your tools? Well, you get a shallow and a very deep hook, um, both perfectly nice. There is no medium hook here, uh, although they call this one a medium hook, I'd call it a shallow hook, but you know, I guess it doesn't matter what you call it. There's a, a small hook and a, a very large hook. Uh, the half diamond, very nice profile. Again, you can see it's it's finished perfectly well. Uh, then we get onto the rakes, and I have to say, if I had to choose, had to had to had to choose three rakes, these would be the three that I I, I would choose. Um, and that is the snake rake, which uh, what I quite like about this version of the snake rake is it actually does bother to have two humps instead of uh, one hump and then a sort of half attempt at a hump at the, at the tip. So this is actually a nice profile. And the Bogota, let's have a look in the grooves of the Bogota again. Some uh, some markings on the inside, but overall quite well finished in there. And a very nice Bogota profile, I have to say. And then, of course, last but not least, how can we forget the classic City Rake or L Rake? And again, if you look down into those grooves, um, it's pretty well finished, all in all. So you get um, a couple of picks, a half diamond some really good rake profiles and some extra tools. What are those extra tools? Well, um, my fingernails are struggling to pick those up. There we go. So you have a bypass knife, uh, very unusual to get in a kit, but quite a welcome addition. And I've used that for the Abus bypass and also um, uh, unprotected uh, shackle bypass on a padlock. And uh, it worked just fine actually. Um, again, spring steel, so maybe not as rigid as some other knives that are on the market, but uh, perfectly usable. I've used it, it works fine. And an extremely sharp key extractor. I mean, it really is, you know, I can feel it catching on my um, on my thumb. And that, by the way, is a good thing. If you've never used a key extractor, you want something which can dig into the softer brass of a broken off key in a lock. So yeah, I, I like that. As far as key extractors go, it's a good one. Okay, so that is the eight picks, rakes, and other tools. 
and we also get some tension tools. Let's start with the standard, what we like to call wiper blade ones. Um, yeah, perfectly nice tension tools, one with a twist, one without. The twist, of course, means that you are less likely to over tension the lock. So it's just a couple of those. Um, there we go. And you also get, and I think it's really nice in a kit, because you can always grab a couple of wiper blade inserts and make your own uh, ones of these, but it's a lot, lot harder to make your own pry bars or top of the keyway tensioners or whatever you want to call them. And these ones are good, I have to say. Um, so you get a short end, which is actually quite nice for stability in a lock, but where you have to have a deeper end, they are deeper and they are serrated, so they're less likely, likely to fall out as well. Can you see the serrations at the tip there? Very nice, so well thought out. And these come in thicknesses of, um, well, thinnest to thickest, so we have a, a 0 0.8, there you go, 0 0.8 millimeters, or um, I think 33 thousandths of an inch, one millimeter, or 40 thousandths of an inch, going up to 1.2 millimeters, or 50 thousandths of an inch. And I have to say that they are really nice and rigid. I've used these, and what's the um, the tips are nice and sort of uh, uh, shallow as well, so they, they kind of get into the lock, which is really nice. Yeah, absolutely no complaints about these whatsoever. So, um, yeah, really good work on the pry bars in particular. It's really nice to have a kit with those pry bars. So that's sort of what you get. So you're getting your 24 thousandths of an inch or 0.6 millimeter spring stainless picks and lock tools. You get uh, some standard, what we call wiper blade tensioners and some uh, top of the keyway tensioners as well, a set of three. Uh, you get the case, all comes in at £66. Is that good value? Well, actually, I think it is. Um, the picks themselves individually are £9 each, but you can actually buy them without the uh, the laminations either side, so just like a slim version for just £4.20. So if you don't like the extra thickness of the handles, and I have to say I do, um, but if you don't, you just want the, the insides, then uh, you get... A, very good reduction in cost there. Um, of course, please go check out the website for the uh, current values in case things go up or down. Um, so just if you divided that whole thing by the eight tools themselves, it comes under, I think, £8.30 a pick. Um, so you're already getting a discount uh, on the picks just by getting all of those then all the rest, including the case, sort of come in as a, as a bonus. So yeah, I do think it's actually pretty good value. Um, just to conclude, things I really like, I really like the pick profiles that they have provided. I think that they are really, really useful. There isn't any filler here. Um, you know, you need a deep hook, you need a shallow hook, you, uh, you need a, a half diamond. Um, you know, these are absolutely brilliant rakes. What more is there? To, to you know like about the actual choices here it's very good um what else do i like i love the pry bars and i think that the case is actually pretty nice uh, for a sort of flat wallet style case at least it's well thought out um i like the fact that there is a bypass knife in this kit and uh, it's good to see that you have a, a pretty sharp key extractor um is there anything i don't like um it's something i don't like actually but there are improvements. I think that's a, a distinction. I don't think there's anything wrong with anything here, but there are some improvements that I'd like to see. So, whilst I can't fault the key extractor for what it is, I'm not sure that overall I would place this above a, a hook that is the difference between these two. So, somewhere between this, what they call a medium hook and this deep hook, you know, I would just call that shallow hook. So, I'd want an actual medium hook in between there. So, you know, I, I it's nice to have um, a key extractor, but if I was going to buy a kit, it wouldn't be the thing I'd be buying it for. Um, in terms of bypass knife, I love the fact they have that in the collection, that, that you can um, have that. It's quite nice to have in the kit. Um, if I had to substitute this, though, I'd probably go for some kind of um, a, a choice between a, uh, a DeForest Half Diamond or maybe um, a Worm Rake of some kind, just to complement the Bogota. So... Um, yeah, so, so those are the sort of improvements with the pick selection that I would say would be quite interesting. Um, 
the only other thing is the only other thing I found actually was um, the finish on the wiper blade inserts. The edges are actually a bit sharp, and uh, that's okay on the handles, but at the tip it can mean that it can just dig into the lock body as you're tensioning and uh, and stop the core from turning uh, properly as it should do. Now that's very very easily resolved by a quick swipe with some uh, sandpaper but it'd be nice to have that out of the pack. Um, and just worth saying again that I really like these handles. I like the length and I like the extra width and I think that if you were looking for a set of lock picks which gave you some uh, sort of deeper, longer handles. Um, I can't think of another set out there which rivals this for its its uh, design. I think these are actually very good. Um, a friend of mine who um, has experienced one of these also noted that um, these would be quite good if you're wearing gloves because um, they they you know are quite wide and they they have these grips cut out, so it allows you better purchase on them. So there you go. Um, if you are interested in this, then please go check out lawlocktools.co.uk. Follow the links in the description and the pinned comment. Um, like I said, it's free UK deliveries um, if you spend over £10. And um, it's £5 shipping international at the moment. But again, you know, check the website out. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about it, really. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you um, enjoyed exploring that kit with me. And I will, of course, see you all next time.